Hey guys, welcome. And today I'm taking a look at the Rapid Path Deluxe uh, from a company called uh, Hydro Surge. Purchased it uh, for my impending puppy that I will be getting. Um, and uh, this is an auto uh, washer uh, that combines uh, shampoo and, 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 and dual action water um, and uh, comes with a couple bonus uh, accessories. I actually purchased this from Amazon for about $28.76 exactly and we all know uh, for people that use Amazon the prices do vary uh, from seller to seller, from Amazon to third party companies and just within Amazon you might get one price one minute and an hour later you may get another price so I just checked online before shooting this video I've had this product for a few days now I haven't used it yet uh, besides taking it out of the box and seeing what it came with um, and um, <clears throat> I did see that this price of this product went up by a few dollars just up to thirty dollars and some change uh, so uh, you know it did go up uh, probably because of myself and anyone else who buys it um, I think that's probably what I noticed that when things start to be less in stock they some sometimes the prices go up so anyway this is supposed to clean your dog in three minutes guaranteed um, the packaging is, is as seen on TV packaging if you go on Amazon the packaging is actually uh, traditional hydro surge packaging and it doesn't look like this kind of packaging so I was surprised when I got this and I was worried what I got in the package maybe wasn't from hydro surge um, but from some knockoff brand but it's not it actually comes with manuals and everything from hydro surge and I double checked uh, through comments and forums that this is just a new packaging because the product actually came out uh, a few years ago um, since then it's been kind of those uh, you know informational uh, kind of products that you see on a lot of uh, online retailers. I think they s people have seen this on QVC. Um, so uh, they've gone to this kind of more of a commercialized box. And now it actually comes with a bonus soap cartridge. One thing I don't like about this that I did notice with some other uh, auto washers is <clears throat> uh, that I didn't notice is that this uses an exclusive shampoo cartridge. So it's the own shampoo made by Hydro Surge uh, manufactured to work with this, and and you'll see what that looks like. It also comes with quick release connections to connect to your 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 uh, shower head or your faucet or your outdoor hose, um, and it also comes with an uh, an extended hose, obviously, to connect to uh, the, <clears throat> the rapid bath unit and uh, you know flow the water through. So let's go ahead. And it says five dollars in savings inside, which actually says expires twelve thirty one, two thousand eleven. Of course, this is two thousand and twelve, so that coupon may not be any good. I'll try to see if that's something I can still use. But uh, that comes with some coupon that I believe you can use for like shampoo. So <clears throat> taking a look around the sides, uh, it, you know, it tells you how to pretty much use it. But I'll get into that. So let's go ahead and just unbox it. All right, shall we? I have to kind of do that there for me. All right, and that's how it looks like exactly as you open it. There's the holes that it comes with, uh, and I'll actually see how long that hose is, but it looks, I don't want to make any guesses. We'll see what that is in a second, and then we'll take out this. Uh, the coupon is on the bottom of the box. I'll leave that to myself uh, without taking that, because that might actually still work um, in case I want to buy replenishment soap. All right, so there's the holes. Just to get a zoom in on what that looks like, there's the actual holes there. Uh, the larger one looks like what connects to the, well I guess we'll see which side it connects to. <clears throat> and here's the instruction manual uh, and also tells you what it comes with. Inserting how to insert the, uh, pretty large pictures on time in terms of how to insert the actual uh, shampoo cartridges um, and you know how to attach the faucet. Uh, connectors there um, so it's, it's it's pretty pretty straightforward for someone who hasn't used this product and wants to know so what they call those little adapters is called the diverter and that you know look you can see the different adapters you can use uh, then it comes with another type of adapter which I believe is for the let me double check <coughs> let's see uh, attach adapter to diverter and then attach the hose. So the adapter that it comes with is meant to attach to the hose and then that attaches uh, directly to uh, the actual diverter and the other end of the hose would attach to the rapid bath unit and then of course the shampoo comes with it as well. And then it says if you want to use it outdoors you can actually attach hose to faucet, attach rapid bath unit to hose. So it doesn't look like you need that adapter when you're using it outdoors. Uh, I guess the adapters for inside faucets. So, 
Uh, there's the <coughs> there's the adapter, which actually looks much larger than what it's pictured in the actual picture there. All right, and uh, doesn't look like this actually comes apart. Uh, there's the diverter, which actually looks smaller than what it looks like on picture, so we'll take that out. <coughs> and then it has some, no it looks like some type of nozzle here on the side, and we'll, we'll take a look at what that says in the package. Uh, the nozzle, let's see, okay, so there you can see a picture of someone pressing on that button. If used, engage the diverter to redirect the water from the shower head to the rapid bath unit. So it looks like... You, when you actually, you can actually remove your remove your shower head with those screw-in shower heads, and you put this diverter on. The button is is me, is meant to divert the water. So if you're using your shower, obviously, <clears throat> you'll uh, you'll press on that, and it doesn't indicate which way you press it. Whether it's, but I'm sure it's you pressing it down, or you can pull it up, because there's actually two sides to it. So if I press on this side, the other side should probably go up. Although it's pretty tough. Uh, it could be maybe it has to have some water pressure uh, before it actually presses because it doesn't look like it's going to push down. So I'll see what happens. Uh, this doesn't really feel metallic. It feels more like a plastic material on the outside. So I'm not sure how well that's going to hold up over time. Or maybe it's meant if it's, you know, like a... That's, I'm not sure if it actually says what material is being used here. But <clears throat> nonetheless, let's see. Any talk about materials? Nothing jumping right at me. Um, uh, a couple of things that I noticed is that uh, when you're hooking this up to a sink, I noticed on a video that I watched myself, uh, someone complained about the water pressure, but uh, they said they didn't read the instructions. And uh, somewhere in the instructions, it told them that due to you know laws regulating water pressure to sinks, uh, it's not going to be really that great. You're going to want to use it on an actual shower. So let's see, uh, t -t -t I don't think, let me see if I see anything about Rope Animals Animals Face, Bathing Instructions, <coughs> Unit uh, Garden Hose 50 feet or shorter, Shower Head, Retoucher, Poo Cartridge, alright, I'm not seeing that. Anyway, <coughs> uh, so we'll hold off on that. Uh, let's take a look at the actual unit. And that's the rest of the packaging. Uh, there is the end that we would hook up one of these holes. And let me see, is it this side? No, it's that side. I can tell by the way those screws are. So that's the side that it hooks up to, just like that. All right. So we're not we're not going to screw it all the way because we just want to see how that works. Uh, there's the <coughs> water that comes out of. Uh, has an on button there, so it's in on mode. And there's an off button, so I can press down on that, and that turns it off, or stops the regulation of water out of it. Um, you actually have little controls here where you can control the low, high, and bathe settings. So it looks like low gives you, you know, a short amount of water. High gives you a uh, little quicker amount of water. And then when it says bathe, I think that's when it actually releases the soap. Because you can actually see the bubbles there. So you can rinse uh, without soap uh, from at least what the pictures say. I guess I'd have to see how that works in, in reality. There's a little button on the bottom here that releases. And then, then we can take off the top portion. And then you'll see there's a little needle there, which looks like it <coughs> inserts into uh, this, which has actually has a cap on it. And we take the cap off, and we would sit it in there like that. And obviously with the cap off, it would insert. We would close it, and we would be able to, uh, to use it. So this actually comes with two, flu two fluid ounces of rapid bathing oatmeal soothing shampoo. I have, I've actually seen different kinds of shampoo from Hy Hydro Surge. Um, online so and this is actually a biodegradable package so I've seen uh, replacements I believe are about three um, there's a three pack right now at least for on Amazon for eight dollars and ninety nine cents currently so it's not that expensive um, initially but it can get expensive and it's not like you can refill these up with your own type of soap um, I haven't seen anybody try to do that or said that it was possible to do that um, so that is one downside to this it uses exclusive Soap, so you can't just buy a really big uh, bottle of soap and be able to refill it. Now, there are ones that I've seen online that you can use any other type of soap you want. And I was going to purchase that one, but I ended up purchasing this just because it had better uh, reviews, better um, you know feedback from customers. 
uh, online through uh, comments on Amazon and elsewhere. So I'll end up picking up the other one just to see how they are side by side. And whichever one I don't like, I'll return and I'll do a video on that one as well. Uh, when it comes to bathing cycles, I think, let's see. Uh, according to the manufacturer, HydroSurge, each shampoo cartridge is designed to provide at least five minutes of shampoo. Uh, so it's about... So it gives you about, uh, so or enough to bathe the standard dog two times. So you can bathe your dog about two times with this, and then you have to replace it. So um, that can get actually pretty expensive unless you, you know, I haven't looked on eBay to see if anybody's selling these uh, for $1. I haven't seen a knockoff brand, like someone that's making these rapid bath uh, accessory uh, units that are refillable or another brand company that's making the same kind of connection for a cheaper price. I haven't seen that online. Um, so for the moment, this looks like this is the only soap you can use. So <clears throat> we'll put that off to the side. And let's take a look at this adapter. It looks like the adapter it does go on on that side. It looks like it goes on there. No? That where it goes? It has to go on one of these sides, right? Okay, there it is. So <clears throat> that's the side the adapter would go on. And... <clears throat> And then this would go on this side, and that's what connects that to the holes, just like that. I'm not, and I'm not tightening them all the way. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why one would have, there's an attachment on this side, there's an attachment on this side. What I'm thinking is this is going to be for the uh, actual, let's say you're using it on a shower, and that's why it's tilted uh, based on the water flow of the shower. And then there's one for a sink if you want to go do it going directly down. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if it says anything in the instructions uh, to either degree because I don't think it would matter. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, you can use either side. Attach the burner and press on. So I don't see anything there that says which one you could use. But uh, uh, to rinse, you know, body, it says set rapid bath unit to high setting to rinse body. Set rapid bath unit to low setting to rinse delicate areas such as face, belly, and under the tail. So that's what those two settings were on there to, to actually uh, change it between high and low. So this is your underbelly, your face, and the tail. The high areas to rinse most of the other part of the body and the bathe obviously is with the soap and water so that's the cool thing is that you can rinse and 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 do everything really with one hand which is the main reason i wanted to get this a lot of people complain when they're trying to hold their dog still um and they're trying to scrub soap into their dog on top of that then they're trying to rinse it with water separately you can really just use this with one hand uh, from what I'm seeing online, there's no scrubbing necessary because of the actual pressure of this water. It actually gets really down underneath the hair and really massages uh, the area and gets a lot of dirt out. So uh, at least that's what I'm seeing from a lot of people online. So I don't think this should be a problem. Now I'm going to connect this to my shower head and see how strong that water flow is and judge for myself and then obviously uh, I'm you know a few months out from getting my puppy because I am getting it from a breeder so I'll have to come back to you guys and let you know more about how this actually works along with uh, the dog and if the dog really enjoys it from what I've seen online dogs sit still with this particular device because it actually massages and it feels great to dogs uh, versus you know when you're trying to scrub a dog with a brush or, or something else I uh, get soap on them and it can be a little bit uh, frustrating to give them a bath so this actually makes baths much quicker much convenient and easier to do from dogs uh, but like I said based on what I've seen and I've seen some videos from commercial videos to videos where people were just you know and explaining about their own particular usage and it looks like everyone's um, you know having a good time for the most part with this particular hose um, so I did expect to see a separate hose. I thought there was going to be like a hose for the inside and a hose for the outside. And you can use this hose inside or outside, but I was expecting like maybe two adapters, you know, two of each. One to keep on the outside and one to keep on the inside. But I guess you'd have to, you know, switch them out, interchange them. So uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to hook this up. If I can, I'll shoot a video to show you how strong the water pressure is. All right. And if you have any other questions, 
uh, about this product, please feel free to re leave them in the comment field below if I hadn't mentioned anything. Um, I'll be sure to try to answer them for you. Once again, I don't have the puppy yet, so it's going to be a few months. Once I get the puppy, I'll do a follow-up video uh, giving the dog a wash, uh, and, 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 and that way you guys can see you know, how the dog reacts to this. And I'll, I'm also going to be picking up another auto washer, uh, which is called the Pet Jet, I believe it's called, and that's available uh, for nearly the same price on Amazon as well. This originally, back when this first came out, it was around the $80 price range. So back then, the Rapid Bath was kind of the premium product, and the Pet Jet, which is made by uh, a company called um, M2 Pets, is... Uh, was the cheaper brand. I was at $50. Now it's dropped down itself down to $30.25. And it kind of looks the same in terms of the adapters it comes with, the hose it comes with. Um, it's a little different in design when it comes to the actual pump itself that you're using to uh, spray the water and the soap and all that. Um, but the one big benefit that I see to it is that uh, it actually has three different nozzles on the bottom. Uh, so that could cause an issue with how strong the water is. Uh, you know what I mean? But uh, one thing I like about it is that you can use your own soap. And uh, so I guess I'd... But I have seen some complaints about that product in terms of longevity and how long it will last uh, online and online forums where I haven't seen with the rapid bath. So, you know, I'm going to pick it up just because it's not that much expensive and, uh, and, and just to see them side by side. And I'll probably wait a little longer to when I get closer to my puppy because I think this is the one I'll keep. Um, but who knows? I might like that one better. All right, guys. So I'm outside, and I'm. Uh, I actually have a hose already installed to the outside uh, pipe here, um, and uh, I looked at look. I looked at the end of the hose, and the end of the hose actually fits perfectly into the uh, the actual hose adapter. I mean, the actual hose from the hydro surge. So I didn't actually have to use the rapid bath adapter that it came with which I have sitting down separately, I took that off. Now if I was hooking up the Hydro Surge adapter directly to this hose and I didn't have a pump here, um, that that's probably the need for that. Uh, probably more so the need for that product would be uh, inside of a household, but I actually am trying it on the outside, all right? And I'll show you that the water actually turns off directly. Now when I turn it back on, You'll see that it starts to spurt out, and that's a that's a force there. Yeah, it's not that it's not as strong as I thought it'd be, um, but I guess it's dependent upon how strong you have the water on. So let me go ahead and see if I can just turn on the water power just a little more. And it's still pretty much the same. It's on the low setting. This is the low setting. Uh, let me actually close it up here for a second. I wanted to show you something, but I'll close it up. Take it to high, and when you go from low to high, and you see probably a little difference in the speed. Let me go low to high again. High, low. Probably see it more so in the end. High, low, and then I go to bathe. But between high and bathe, this is bathe. This is high. There's not any difference really, except that uh, when we open it up, I did feel on the inside there. I felt just a hint of a little sucking power going on at the needle there when it's on bathe. So I'll press the off button to turn it off. And supposedly, you know, that's that's supposed to be strong enough to uh, to clean the dog without having to scrub the dog down, and I, and I hope that's the case. Uh, to me, it looks like the normal power of a regular hose, but uh, it's supposed to be massaging as well to dogs. So hopefully that's the case, and hopefully this is enough to clean the dog one. I guess we'll see, versus uh, having to manually do it. Um, yeah, so I, I only saw the need for the holes to actually connect to this right here, um, but I didn't need the adapter. And I'll probably end up, I'm thinking about maybe washing the dog outside most of the time, because um, I'm probably going to get like some easy to, you know, drain dog bath or something that I can use on the outside. So, uh... We're back from the outside, and as you can see, a little water has leaked in uh, from the hose. I didn't properly drain the uh, hydro uh, uh, surge rapid bath hose, and there's some water retaining. So if you're going to be using this hose, which was very easy to get off, actually, for me, myself, from my hose, um, you're probably going to want to either A, uh, leave it outside, 
um, the actual hose and probably the only thing you'd want to be taking in and out is the actual hydro uh, surge rapid bath unit. Um, or B, make sure you thoroughly um, get all any loose water in there out so you're not like bringing in, you know, loose water and and having to clean it up off of a table or, or, or what have you. Um, so in my experience, I probably, judging by the fact that the dog may move a little bit, uh, even if this is very comfortable, I probably would leave this actual hose outside uh, after I have my dog. Uh, one thing that I wanted to check on the instructions was did the fact that I did not use uh, the adapter or the diverter in this particular case matter. Now I can only see the in terms of water pressure does that matter. Now I can only see the fact that the diverter uh, the point of the diverter as actually diverting water from your faucet that you have it hooked up to um, to your to your rapid bath unit. So if I had this hooked up to, I'm not even sure if it would fit on my hose outside, um, but judging from pictures online, it should hook up to the hose. Uh, I'm not really sure if this uh, if this is meant to be used. Um, but just for any means except splitting the line really uh, really a diver a diverter is a fancy name for splitter um, you know split the line to the water line here to your main use of that particular device uh, I mean faucet so if it's a sink using it as a sink uh, or if it's a um, uh, you know a shower cap using the shower uh, to, to, for human showers uh, and then the other end to divert to the to the hose or to the other connection for your actual um, rapid bath unit so that's what that would be for uh, <clears throat> and actually it works the device rapid bath works pretty good that I could use that as just a normal hose uh, without having to use uh, I mean a normal hose head uh, and then this adapter here I'm not sure what the need for this adapter was either and looking at the instructions I didn't see anything right away that jumped off at me initially but I'm trying to look again just just Bear with me, I'm looking to see if it says anything about the water pressure having to do with those adapters. Uh, if that would improve the water pressure, or if that water pressure that we saw outside was at the highest. Um, and, 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 you know, I don't see anything that says anything uh, that, that those adapters would lend to increasing water pressure. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is in addition to the uh, soap uh, entry area, and the uh, the fact that water comes out of this rapid bath unit is that it's supposed to have an extra lining on the middle and it's supposed to be something that we can't see uh, barely uh, but somewhere underneath there is supposed to be a tube where oxygen gets sucked in uh, and you can actually probably see where the uh, and and we're supposed to have a combination of water, soap, and oxygen being mixed up as the device is banned. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I can get into right now. I haven't used this on a live dog yet, as I've already stated, guys. So let's see if I can take this end off this hose easily. Yeah, there we go. So that's easy enough. And there it is. <laughs> And that's the uh, the rapid bad by Hydro Surge. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments field below. Uh, and if I haven't mentioned them, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys. Once again, until the next video, catch you guys later, and thanks for watching.